Municipal Politics Now Hamilton mayoral candidate Andrew Horvath released her campaign platform today, which includes promises to take action on the housing crisis here, to invest in infrastructure, and to diversify the economy. The platform comes out as the Transit Workers Union endorses Bob Bratina for mayor. Matt Ingram has more. She's calling it her action plan for a thriving Hamilton. It's not just from me. Uh, it's from the conversations and discussions I've had with Hamiltonians. Mayoral candidate Andrea Horvath laid out her campaign platform this morning, including a promise to create a dedicated city department to manage and streamline new home development amid Hamilton's housing crisis, a crisis she says she will be focused on. It's the number one priority. We have to treat it that way. And we do that by creating a focus of a multidisciplinary group uh, that's pulled from the various departments uh, that are involved in the approvals process. She also wants to cut the infrastructure deficit, attract more businesses to create more jobs, generate more commercial property tax revenue, and make City Hall more transparent. Sewergate, for example, these things really uh, create um, a sense of distrust. Well, I would sum it up in two words, tax and spend. Fellow mayoral candidate Bob Bertina thinks oh, the plan Bob is short Bertina. on ideas to generate revenue. Frankly, there's more missing in that document than what's there. Today, Hamilton's Transit Workers Union endorsed Bertina for mayor, who has said he wants the maintenance and operation of the city's soon-to-be-built LRT to be done entirely by HSR workers, citing concerns about the private-public partnership model used for Ottawa's LRT. The experience in Ottawa has been a disaster. I'm happy to have Leuna's support and congratulations to Bob. Mayoral candidate Keenan Loomis expects he, Bertina and Horvath will all have more endorsements roll out over the campaign. He says he's underwhelmed with Horvath's platform. I think it demonstrates, you know, uh, basically uh, a lack of effort, um, a lack of understanding of the issues and, and frankly, uh, a lack of seriousness. Ontarians go to the polls to select their next municipal leaders on October 24th. Matt Ingram, CHCH News, Hamilton.